This week's TWAB is all about Crucible, which I'm sure is a breath of fresh air for all the hardcore PvP players out there. Here's what you need to know. We've known for a while that Iron Banner would be seeing a rework of some sort, and here's how that's going to work. Obviously, tokens are getting retired in favor of the more rank-based system like you see in Trials of Osiris, Crucible, and Gambit. Wearing full sets of Iron Banner armor and even having Iron Banner emblems equipped will also grant bonus reputation in new Iron Banner challenges. Also, there will be a new Iron Banner seal that players can earn. So remember back in Destiny 1 where everyone in the Iron Banner lobby had an Iron Banner emblem on, that's pretty much what we're going to be seeing here in Destiny 2. Another thing I noticed while reading this article is that it seems confirmed to me that Lady Ephrodite will not be returning to host the Iron Banner. This doesn't mean she can't come back in a future season, maybe even next season. However, they do make it a point to say that Lord Saladin will be returning to host the Iron Banner twice a season, which by the way, Iron Banner will now only be coming back twice a season. It seems like Bungie wants Iron Banner to have more of an event status like the Guardian Games, Dawning, or anything like that. So this is really exciting to me because I loved Rift, but Rift as a game mode is coming back. However, in Season 17, it will only be back in Iron Banner. You can't actually go into Crucible and just play Rift. They mentioned that this will be fixed in Season 18, so come Season 18, Rift will be its own playlist in Crucible. However, it is unfortunate that in Season 17, there will only be two weeks out the whole season that we can actually play Rift. But those two weeks are sure to be really exciting. They also mentioned that if Rift were to go into Sudden Death, three sparks will spawn in the middle of the map and whoever scores first wins, which sounds awesome. Also, power advantages will be disabled in the Iron Banner going forward. They will still be enabled in Trials, however Bungie wants Trials of Osiris to be the true end game Crucible activity, which I'm completely fine with. They also mentioned that the Zone Control game mode will be coming back, which if you're unfamiliar is a game mode very, very similar to Control, except kills don't grant points. So it's essentially incentivizing people to really play the objective. Now, possibly the most exciting bit of news for Crucible players is that we are finally getting a new map after, what is it, like 920 days or some shit like that? The map is called Disjunction, and it takes place in Savathun's throne world, which I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting. It seems like it was built specifically for Rift, which should also be pretty fun. I honestly miss the days where every DLC brought new maps into Crucible, it just helped make the whole game feel really refreshing, so I hope they keep this up going forward. Now for regular control, it seems like Bungie again is really pushing us to play these objectives more. Now in control, you will gain a point for every person capturing a zone rather than just one point for the zone. So if you want to win control, pack as many players as you can into the zones when you capture them. The elimination round time limit was brought to 90 seconds to match Trials of Osiris's time limit, which I think is fine. A lot of people will go to elimination to practice, so I think this only makes sense. There are also some mayhem changes, so points for super kills have been increased to three, they were previously two. Increased score target to 200, previously 150, and the time limit will now be seven minutes, it was previously eight. So they're really pushing Mayhem to be a very super heavy, chaotic, fast-paced match. Rumble's time limit was increased to 10 minutes, was 8. I'm not a super Rumble-heavy player, so I don't have very strong feelings about that. Finally, for Showdown, they increased the round score target to 15, previously 10. Not gonna lie, guys, I got really excited when I saw that they were mentioning Gambit in this TWAB. However, it's not actually that significant. Here's what they have to say. Essentially, they've found that Gambit matches are taking a little longer to complete since Beyond Light, so to keep it in line with everything else, they're increasing the reputation gain per match to 75 up from 50 and the value of each streak point 20 which was 15. They're also kind of changing the way gameplay streaks work so whereas before you could just get and maintain as many streaks as you want across the ritual playlists now they're making it more of a summation so you can get up to a maximum of a five streak across all of your playlists. Here's the example they give. You play five crucible matches you have an activity streak value of crucible five. If you play a gambit match you now have gambit one crucible Crucible 4. If you play two more Gambit matches, you now have Gambit 3, Crucible 2. So your streak in Crucible is 2 and your streak in Gambit is three. Not gonna lie, I don't have very strong feelings on this. I feel like, yeah, it's a streak, so I suppose you should be rewarded for doing the same thing over and over again, rather than playing five Crucible matches, then jumping over to Gambit, then jumping back over to Crucible. You get the point. Now for the Guardians lacking in the router department, Grandmaster rejoins will now be allowed. Obviously, this is great news. I know a guy who is consistently lagging out of games, so maybe now he'll be able to do some GMs. Now for something a bit more controversial to end off the TWAB. Starting in Season 
2017, in the beginning of a season, when you buy your season pass, you can also spend a little extra money and buy 10 extra ranks right from the get-go. On top of this, individual rank purchasing will be available starting in week three. Okay, now I know some people are upset about this, but I'm gonna shoot you straight, I don't care at all. And I'm not even the type of person that would buy season ranks. Look, unless there's something I'm just missing here, I don't really see the harm in letting someone spend a little extra money to progress through the battle pass a little bit quicker. Because look, if someone has a full-time job and they really, really want that armor at the end of a battle pass, it takes a while to grind that much for a casual player. So I don't see the harm in letting them buy that if they so choose. I mean, it's not like we're giving people the option to buy raid exotics or anything like that. I mean, it's just season pass tiers. Anyway, that's the TWAB. Those are my thoughts on it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'm really happy to finally see Crucible getting a bit more of a spotlight, even though I know it is just one TWAB. We only have about one and a half more weeks until season 17, so I'm fully expecting to hear some more news regarding that season soon. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out. If you're in college, good luck on your finals, and goodbye.